Do you know what the EWW is? Take a look at this chart. See this last day here, the last three days? It might make it hard to pick a direction for this ETF. By the way, the EWW is an ETF that tracks the Mexican economy. And if it's hard to pick a direction, I'm gonna recommend that you don't. Well, I shouldn't say I am. I'm gonna say the cherry bomb trade is gonna recommend that. So let's get to it. Hi everybody, uh, Neil here again with Option Theory and it is June 12th, 2020. And we have our final cherry bomb trade of the week. And it involves, of course, EWW, EWW, and we're going to be putting on an iron condor in this one. However, I would say that it is, we're going to put it on so it's not centered, according to the email, which, by the way, head on to the description below. If you're not getting these emails from Tasty Trade, you can use the link below. It'll take you over to their sign up page. I get nothing from it other than to see how many times viewers have clicked this link. So. Head on over, sign up, you'll get a nice early in the morning email that builds out these trades for you. So, we have our work cut out for us. We're gonna click on the Analyze tab, we're gonna to go to Add Simulated Trade, and you're gonna expand open the July 17th monthly expiration uh, options with 35 days as of today. And we're going to go here, we're going to be doing a, you know, Tasty Trade espouses the idea of um, trading small and trading often. Well, we are certainly going to trade small today. It is a dollar wide iron condor today. And so you want to head on down. For me, you can start wherever you want, puts or calls. I like to start with the puts. So over here at the 28 strike price put, you can right click and choose analyze sell and go to iron condor. Now, I've done that already and it's down here. You're gonna to have to adjust these strikes so that your put is 28 and 20, uh, your short puts 28, your long puts 27. And on the call side, you want your short call to be the 36 strike and the long call to be 37. You can see here that will, gives us the perfect one third 33 cent credit. What 33 cents being one third the width of a dollar wide strike, right? Or I should say a dollar wide spread. So. There you have it. We know that if we're collecting 33 cents, our max risk is going to be 77, should this go wildly in one direction. And if we look at that chart, you know, in my limited experience, remember I'm learning along with you, right? Um, so in my limited experience, when something gaps down like this, it's probably gonna be coming right back up soon after. I shouldn't say right back up. And if you look at the futures, if there are any indication like they were yesterday for yesterday's down day, today seems to be a, uh, we'll call it a telenovela, right? A soap opera <laughs> episode where everything comes right back. Everybody just shrugs it right off <laughs> and we're coming right back up. So that's why it's not too bad that today's iron condor is slightly skewed so that you have a bullish bias on this one, a bullish delta. So. How do we know that? Let's take a look at the Analyze tab again. Head over to the Risk Profile for the trade that we're building right here, that we're analyzing. Make sure that your calendar up here in this area is set to the expiration. It may not be. And I also want to point out here, uh, trading small isn't just always the width of your strikes. It's also the size, uh, the number of contracts. So we are doing $1 wide, one contract. Okay. So with the calendar set here, I've gone over to this icon here, choose set slices to break even, and I click on the expiration. We can see the current share price is at this point here, 30 some one-ish, 31 and a half-ish, right? You can see how we're not centered and that we could stand to have it go right here and then stop, right? So that's what I mean by being, we're slightly bullish on this one. Okay. So let's right click this. Let's choose confirm and send and review that which we've already reviewed. I shouldn't say 77, I can do math, right? 67, oops. <laughs> All right, so 33 cents is $33 of credit received. 67 cents is going to be our maximum loss should this zoom right back up like it might, but this is, this is good for us, right? All right, we're, we're practicing. I'm going to hit send. That's going to put that over in my working order, and we'll see if we get filled at that price. All right, everybody, if you like this kind of stuff, 
Maybe you don't like my math because I apparently can't do that. If you like this kind of stuff though, where you can get into thinkorswim and paper trade and learn how to trade options and practice your, your uh, skills of putting on trades, managing trades, I'd love it if you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button as well, uh, and uh, ring the bell for notifications when our videos come out. We put them on four days a week for trades and one day of recap. So I hope this was beneficial and I look forward to seeing you in Monday's Market Recap.